What's up guys, Gene Hack is here. So I wanna help you guys out if you haven't done so already. Um this might help you, it might not, because we do have tutorials in the builder all platform. Um creating an application. It's pretty simple creating one. Uh it's just a little time consuming when it comes to getting it approved by uh Android. Android's pretty quick and it's affordable. It's only uh twenty five bucks. Now with Apple, with Apple it's ninety nine dollars and it's a monthly fee if I'm not mistaken. I mean not monthly, uh yearly, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, uh how how do you get here? Really simple. Go to your builder all app creator and it opens up. Real easy. So I already have my app right here. And I'll show you guys some pictures on how it looks like on the phone but pretty simple create a new app but I'm just gonna show you guys mine so you guys can see it it's really easy so this is how it would look on a on an iPhone and this is how it would look on an Android which that's what I have I have an Android <coughs> and I'm not gonna do the Apple one yet because since I'm still learning I don't wanna uh, publish something that's still not that good yet so but yeah it says error because it actually opens you up to a uh, web page because this is signing up to one of my business opportunities that I have then video explains the compensation Facebook fan page and another Facebook fan page pretty simple app like I said I'm still learning that's what I love about the platform there's so many things you can do but it's real easy to uh, create an app so let's actually create a brand new one from scratch create a new application let's call it get builder or actually become master builders and create So as you can see, you can import information from a Facebook, but no, we don't want to do that. Skip to the next step. So you have templates. There's so many templates over here. So you just got to pick one, which one you like, depending on what kind of app you are creating and what you're doing. So let's say we're going to do, this one's pretty nice. I like that. Let's get this one. Yep, it's going to replace everything. So we pick the template and we are done. And these are all the buttons Master Builders, New Swimming Wall. Oh. Discounts, what's this? loyalty card and info so basically this is great if you guys uh, are creating an app for maybe like a store or you have a brand or something that you want people to download so they can keep uh, updated uh, information about what's going on and this right here you can change your layout so like I have these four buttons if I want it could be this something like that or more more simple but for right now I think this one's pretty cool and choosing your your home page image so I recommend what I did I literally created three separate images so I went to Photoshop or you can use Canva and create the actual size and then you upload it you'll be able to click here change pictures and for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna use the same one that I created for my other app right so that's one two and three you create those em those images change the picture you can hide status bar but I leave it on and use 
background into all of your application pages uh, you could do that but I choose not to I just let it be a plain color and then you choose your country <clears throat> depending what country you're in we're in the United States so that's gonna be the currency if you're gonna charge for this app and then these are the fonts that they have so that step is done and then you get to choose your colors this is where you know it takes some time because you want to see right how things are gonna look and it should match accordingly so it looks decent and presentable so as you can see that's not that pretty so I'll stick with maybe black <laughs> that's not that bad so then you have your header text color let's make it greenish tealish or red actually that's not that bad background make it black nope let's leave it white and border so you see I don't wanna spend too much time and make this video extremely long just showing you the basics because all this is self-explanatory you just go along and then the features so the features right here guys this is where you're gonna decide what's inside the app so as you can see there's all these things here already but I don't want all these things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them off I don't want push notifications is actually good feedback form no bookings no because it's not anything about bookings info yeah loyalty card mm, no and discount no because I'm not creating a discount type of app but if you guys own a a store this would be great so you guys can tell your customers hey you know download our app get such and such discount which is pretty cool and right here you can choose the little icon image you can upload your own you know make sure it's PNG and it's transparent so everything here is self-explanatory really simple it's not that hard to actually create the app right here then you got the application so this is where you create your image so I will follow uh, their guidelines that they give you like for the size so as you can see right here tells you the size for the iPhone so because you want everything to be as nice and crispy as possible so let's uh, uh, upload an icon so I did let's do this see how it comes out it's kind of, I don't know. Let's check a better, higher resolution icon. There you go. So you see, that's how it's gonna look on the App Store, uh, on your app dashboard when you already download it right here. Put all your information. Now this is when you are going to publish. So the name of the app and you will click right here ready to publish my app. So then you got to put an actual address and all that information. And what's great is that you don't have to pay for this. And you save all this. Billing name. You save it fee validate is zero because it's included with builder all the only thing that you're gonna pay is when you come over here so when you go to you have to go to developers 
dot android so you log into your gmail and you click on play console and you're gonna see here there's gonna say create application you put the title master builders and you fill the description and like I said everything else is self-explanatory it's really simple and follow the guidelines so that everything is crisp and clean and it doesn't look um, pixelated okay so make sure it's PNG with alpha so what does that mean alpha meaning that it's gonna be transparent so like for the icon that I had right here so you see this right here this is transparent it's not a black background it looks black but it's not it's black because it's it's alpha so how can you actually see that well let me see in I think in paint though show nope not in paint I guess I open it in Photoshop I know not everybody has Photoshop but any uh, editing software for pictures will be able to pick it up and you'll be able to see it like this so you see the only thing that's inside the picture it's the logo and everything else is blank so that is what they mean by with alpha and then no alpha meaning that you know it can be a uh, regular JPEG or what well, it takes this PNG but that means that the background can be you know there could be a crazy nice design whatever you want because there's not no alpha so there's no transparency behind it so you fill out all the information application type category your website if you have a website for contact details so after you do all that you do all these steps app release right and you'll be able to manage production you do the store listing contact rating but first you're gonna have to do the store listing and then you do app release then content rating then price distribution and I made it available everywhere cuz it's the app that I did is a Bitcoin app and it's not gonna let me do paid because I haven't really edited everything else alright and then you press save and then um, you're gonna sh see right here it's gonna say publish ready to publish and when you're ready to publish let me delete this you're gonna see right here and it's gonna say pending um, I've already had six installs I guess that's pretty cool uh, and then you can just keep creating apps and it's really easy and simple guys I hope this helps somehow for those of you that have been thinking about trying to create an app or are kind of scared because you don't know how to mess with it or, or if it's free or not well Builderall it's free to create your app as many apps uh, the only thing that you're gonna pay for once from to my knowledge with Google is a one-time developers uh, fee which is twenty five dollars and then when you wanna uh, publish it with Apple you have to pay ninety nine dollars every year and uh, the process is a lot different you actually have to download a software to upload it to the uh, Apple server and all, all, all that stuff so I'm not gonna do that yet but pretty soon after I've learned a little bit better on how to work around the app creator but yeah guys I hope this helped you guys out if it did please make sure you leave some likes leave a comment and leave any feedback alright All right, guys take care peace so this is how it looks on my phone let me show you guys real quick so as you can see right here, extreme 
right there. Extreme coin. <coughs> App is loading. And there you go. So as you can see right here, fan page. It takes me to the fan page. <coughs> it doesn't display like the actual Facebook fan page, but I could go to it if I wanted to. When I click on that post, it says open link. So it's basically just keeping people updated on these uh, Bitcoin fan pages that I own. I mean, that I'm part of. And then there's the compensation plan of the company. And then there's another fan page. So like I said, this app that I created was basically testing out, see how everything works. And then when people sign up, it opens to a website, which takes them to a sign up page and they can sign up for whatever the business is okay so as you guys can see it was really easy and simple to create and it works fine no glitches so far alright hope you guys liked it and please share your apps that you've created if you created any